Hi, I'm Bill Earle, fine art photographer and image maker. Today I want to share with you a technique that I use occasionally for processing black and white images that I call extra milky. It sort of gives images a nice soft vintage feel. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started with this image. What you're seeing on the screen is in fact the finished product. So let's turn these layers off and look at how we got there. Okay, right out of the camera, I just did a little bit of touch up and a very slight amount of sharpening. This image was shot with natural light, <clears throat> which is always nice. So then I dropped in a gradient map for a black and white conversion, which did block up the blacks a little bit, but it is, a, it is nice, nice black and white tones. So then just a little bit of a retouch curve. As you can see, we just brought the midtones up slightly, very slight adjustment. I like subtle adjustments. Then a levels layer just to sort of even things out a little bit. The blacks got a little blocked up. Then the magic starts to happen with this extra milky levels adjustment. And what we did there was we simply took this slider here and by default it's at zero. You can see the output levels changing and we move it over to the right and this is sort of a season to taste. I think we were at 63 with this one so we'll put it back to where it was and as you can see it gives us a nice sort of soft vintagey feel while still maintaining the detail and enough contrast. Then I, I wasn't completely happy with with how this image looks so I did a little experimenting and added a texture to it which is color by default. This happens to be Casanova out of the Adobe paper texture pack that comes with Creative Cloud. So then I added a black and white layer on top of that to convert that texture layer to black and white. And as you can see, if I turn the texture on and off, you can see it just gives it a little bit of a sort of gritty feel, which I liked for this particular image. Now this little arrow here indicates that this black and white conversion layer only applies to the layer below that. The way to control that is to hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac and you'll see the cursor changes and then you click it to turn it on and off. And there you have it. So that's how we did it. Hopefully you find it helpful in your work.